Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cults and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2022 Pepeño Blanco from Los Vinateros Bravos. Uh, now, before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this is a skin contact white from the Itata Valley in Chile. Itata was the first settlement of the Spanish conquistadors during the 16th century. To keep up with the necessary supply of wine for all these new European settlers, they brought their own grapevines. And so the first propagation of some of Chile's earliest vineyards began. Winemaker Leonardo Dorazo graduated from the University of Chile with a degree in agronomy and enology. Uh, he then traveled the world for over a decade working for various estates, doing research on, on soil science, geology, and biodynamics. Uh, while employing biodynamic principles, he uses the advice of the experienced local farmers who have also been naturally farming this region for centuries. Uh, in the cellar, he uses exclusively native yeast fermentation, uh, elevage or aging in very old barrels, minimum additions of sulfur just before bottling with no other additives. Um, indeed, he's making uh, what I would describe as natural wine without any of the natural wine baggage. The oldest wine ever produced in Chile uh, back in 1551 was called Pipeño as well. Uh, old vines and natural winemaking make these wines very interesting introductions to, uh, to the winemaking style of Itata. Uh, Pipeño Blanco is made with 100% old bush vine, Moscatel, uh, planted in the 1960s. This wine embodies Itata's Pipeño tradition, which is to say uh, that it's a, it's a farm wine meant to be consumed young and fresh. Uh, it's a field blend of mostly, as I said, Moscatel from dry farmed, uh, own rooted ancient vineyards that's been unfiltered uh, because ultimately it's made for drinking right after harvest. Uh, and they're appropriately put in liter bottles to quench thirsty palates while still having enough to share. This is a very fresh wine. Morning white flowers, orchard fruits, spices, wild herbs, uh, all tied together with sort of a funky edge to it. Uh, slightly off dry, I would say, is very aromatic. Um, actually, I might even describe this as sort of like a bizarro Alsatian Riesling. A nice granite finish, it also keeps the off dryness in check. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.